Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma and heartache so that you can have the amazing life and business of your dreams. And yes, I help you make money. I help you be successful. I help you master that conditioned mind. And well, 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 <laughs> being a woman, <laughs> I can speak from experience. Uh, what do women want? And if you watched yesterday's video, I talked about what men want. We are wired very differently. Oh boy, men have simple needs. And I am not saying that men are simpletons. Please do not mistake what I am saying. I am saying women are just more complex. We are more multi-layered than men. <clears throat> and what do we desire? Well, let's talk about sex. Before sex, we desire intimacy to have sex. And men desire sex to have intimacy. We're opposite. Beautifully created, intentionally that way. Why? <laughs> because if we were all like men, nothing would ever get accomplished. We'd be having sex all the time. Could be fun, but nothing would get done. <clears throat> so what do women want? Women want to be adored, told they're beautiful. They want to be cared for. They want the laundry done and folded, put away. They want the dog walk, the dishwasher emptied. They want the garbage taken out. They want the house cleaned, the sheets laundered. Yes, we like to make love in clean sheets. We have a long list, a laundry list of things that we want before we want to be intimate with you. And yet men, when they look at us, they're attracted. We're lovely. We're, you know, we are the thing that they like to look at, the, the being they like to look at. We're not things. But <clears throat> men are visual women operate with the mind and if our mind isn't turned on if we don't like what you're saying or doing or the fact that you may have have hurt our feelings or told our us our ass was big or we didn't feel loved by you then we're not going to feel warm and fuzzy either and so we have a very long list of things that we like to have in place and I'm going to read this paragraph. This is, this is from my book, Orgasm for Life. We have different operating systems. Our inability to communicate seamlessly is what keeps us apart. Our operating systems different. The operating, like different computers, it's like a, a PC and a Mac trying to talk together. And it's a challenge, right? And women like to communicate face to face. We like our men to respond, act like they're listening, where, where men don't listen in the same way. They don't communicate in the same way. Women <laughs> require romance, conversation, to be acknowledged, appreciated, feel loved. And, and, and you may love us, but we need to feel loved. There's a very big difference here. And uh, thanks for joining me. Um, we like our hair done, our nails done. We like gifts given. We, we like you to um, thank us for the meal that we created. And, you know, not all of us women create meals and the men cook too. You know, today everything's a little different, but we want our nails polished, clean sheets, laundry folded, the house clean. We want the lunches made for the kids, time to sleep, people. If we're tired, sleep, sleep is... is the priority, right? <laughs> we want to sleep and <laughs> we're exhausted. If we're stressed, we don't want to make love. Where men use sex as a release for the stress. You see the difference? Yeah. And we were created this way. <laughs> God did it for a reason. Okay, what else? Um, yes, we have a very long list of tasks that we need to accomplish every day. And when they're undone, they play heavily on our minds. So, so in order, in order to get us to feel open and and warm towards you, 
start making love in the morning, you know, leave a, a, a love note on the pillow, um, text us during the day. I love being with you. You smelled so good this morning. We love to be acknowledged for how we are, the way we are. And if you're dating, if you're in the dating place with a woman and you meet her for the first time, if the first words you speak to her were, oh, I thought you'd be taller. Oh, I thought you'd look different. And of course, that, that's like door closed, boom. You're not accepting us the way we are. So yes, men and women, have similar needs. We both want to be loved, appreciated, and accepted, but women, it's this. When you make love to us in our mind, and of course, you know, not target practice when we're in the bedroom or wherever we make love, you know, we have an entire body full of erogenous zones like Wayne Dyer wrote about, it's, you know, our ears, our neck, um, the sides of our, our midriff, you know, um, you know, the little crevice in, in the throat, our hands, you know, here's the thing is that if you make love to a woman's entire being from her eyes to her ears, to her mouth, and then all over the body, you're going to have an amazing and magnificent experience. <sighs> yes, women are glorious beings, but we're very different than men. So men treat us the way we want to be treated and we will treat you the way you want to be treated, which is different, right? We want to be treated as a woman, not as a man in a woman's body. <laughs> okay, so don't forget my radio show tonight with a uh, glorious and naked healthy expert, Adam Gates. And we'll be talking about uh, food being your medicine because food is. If you eat the right foods and you think the right thoughts, you will never get sick. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Also check out my book, Orgasm for Life on Audible, Orgasm for Life. It will make you laugh. It will bring you incredible new experiences. Even if you think you know everything there is to know about sex, I declare there's much more to learn because we women are complex beings. So adore your woman, tell her she's beautiful, tell her she smells good and keep telling her these things. Sending you lots of love tonight bbsradio.com, Station 1, 9 p.m. Mountain. I hope you'll join me. Lots of love. Mwah.